Hey, how you doing? It's Blake here. We are at a Dollar Tree and we're gonna see just how much money you can make flipping Dollar Tree toothbrushes, toothpaste, maybe even floss? I don't know. Uh, this is called Dollar Tree Retail Arbitrage and we're gonna see if this is the best way to flip dollar store items and at the end of the video, a way to expand beyond this. Let's go. Okay, now we're in the store and remember, if you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and comment below with the next video you want to see. So what I'm looking for for Dollar Tree or any dollar store or any kind of retail arbitrage is branded products. This is a toothbrush, but it's also a Thomas and Friends toothbrush. We've seen uh, video game branded stuff. We've seen G.I. Joe. Here we're seeing Thomas, the tank engine. Uh, there's also some Barbie stuff and some Hot Wheels stuff. Now this one, I originally uh, you know, thought twi twice about it, put it back in the shelf, put it in my basket. Uh, the reason I eventually said, I don't think so, is because I was not positive that cup wouldn't break in shipping. Now down here, uh, denture cleaning tabs, uh, denture paste glue, all this stuff down here generally sells pretty reliably, but it's a very well-known product to resell, kind of like the pregnancy tests, where everyone knows that you can sell them easily, uh, so the profit is pretty minuscule. Back there, Fix-A-Dent behind those, uh, anything with a name brand. So Fix-A-Dent is what I'd call a name brand. Denture adhesive cream, whereas if you look in the top left of the screen, it just says denture. No branding at all, that's more private label. These, I think, are gonna be really good. There's not a lot of them. Uh, Reach Essentials Instant Whitening Pen. I like these for several reasons, not just because they sell, but, but I'm gonna go over those you know, later on in the video. We're gonna go back to my warehouse in about two minutes of screen time. It was a bit longer for me. And we'll talk about why those are good and why some things aren't good. Now, besides this stuff is toothpaste. I'm looking for toothpaste that's one, name brand, and two, has extras. Is that extra, uh, you know, 3D whitening? Is it stain eraser? Is it max fresh? Is it an interesting flavor? Maybe it's even branded with a kid's favorite cartoon or a sports team even. Whatever it is, that is what differentiates the toothpaste we can sell for more for a profit from the stuff that just is, you know, people know it's bargain bin stuff. They don't want to pay $6 for it. This right here, uh, herbal toothpaste, charcoal in there, very popular right now, trending. People are paying nine bucks a tube for this, although it's not very often, but still it just shows you that if you can find the right products with the right ingredients, with the right branding and packaging, even though they are functionally identical to other toothpastes, you can still charge a lot more money for them. What do you think? In the comments, I would love to hear your opinion on charcoal products in general. Are they worth it? Are they a ripoff? What do you think? So besides the previous stuff, the toothpaste, the, you know, the cup, the, the, the pen whitener, we've got just regular branded toothbrushes. Thomas and Friends, Hot Wheels, slop, Shopkins, not Slopkins. <laughs> and Barbie, all from Brush Buddies, the same company who makes that charcoal toothpaste, so it looks like they're a private label company of sorts. And what is private label? Well, don't worry, we're gonna talk about that later in the video. The third thing in our oral hygiene trifecta is floss or placards. I think placards is the brand, but I call them that the way I call it, Kleenex uh, or Velcro, which are both, you know, not the product name. So these are flossers, I guess you might say. Uh, and there's the regular ones that come in mint. I buy these all the time. Uh, I have one of these in my car, actually, just if I'm traveling around. I don't like having dirty teeth. So these here are a great thing to sell because I'm not alone in my obsession with not having beef jerky between my molars. A lot of people are like this, and even better, they're light, very easy to ship. Uh, and the diversity of products, there's high performance, there's cool blast mint, there's soft sleeve or whatever you want to call it. There are molar ones, uh, tons of stuff that just helps segment the market and allows you to specialize your product even more. And when you do that, you're going to have a higher profit margin, you know, in general. Okay, so we got our stuff, our bag of dental accessories, oral care items. Now we're going back to the warehouse and I'm gonna show you a few ways to sell these. All right, we're back in the warehouse. Let's see what we got in my Dollar Tree bags right here. I'm just gonna dump it all out. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna sell these because there is a little bit of a trick to it. So all of these items individually uh, are 
It's very, very rarely will they sell for more than $6.25. There are instances where like this will sell for $9, this toothpaste, but not often. Uh, we're better off trying to hit that $6.25 per item average price if we want them to sell. The problem is at $6.25, uh, if you look at these, uh, you know, times eBay fees is, uh, which is 0 0.88, that puts us at 550. Uh, and then 550 minus 350 for shipping is $2. Two minus one, uh, $1 profit. So we're looking at a $1 profit if we sell these individually at uh, 625. And it could be lower shipping, you know, there could be, you know, higher sales tax, but it's all gonna pretty much even out. Now, the way we expand this is by making bundles. So we can do a two pack uh, and a two pack is gonna be 1195, which is still cheaper than two at 625. Uh, but because we're saving on shipping, we're going to actually end up making $5.02 on a two-pack as opposed to $1 uh, on a one-pack at $6.25. And that's just because, again, we are saving on shipping. Okay, now that I have all these, what, I'm, what I could do is just lock them up by similar item and sell them all in two-packs. Or in this case, I could do two four-packs or, uh, or two two-packs. Sorry, one four-pack or two two packs in the case of these Reach Essentials uh, Instant Whitening Pens. So what I think I'm gonna do though, is I wanna stand out from the rest of the listings. So I'm gonna do, that's gonna be by itself, just I was curious to see if it'd sell. Uh, these two, I'm going to sell these together as well, but everything else, so I'm gonna match up one of these placards with these placards. I'm going to sell the two toothbrushes together. I'll sell these in a four pack and I'll sell these two in a two pack. What I could also do is lot them up like that. And now that I'm thinking about it, I actually think I'm gonna do this instead. Uh, I'm gonna sell these two individually. There seems to be a lot more action on these Brush Buddies herbal toothpaste with charcoal uh, than there is on the Crest 3D White, although they both do sell individually. Uh, if I think if I lot them up with this uh, Brush Buddies uh, Hot Wheels branded item, and this Barbie branded item, they're gonna sell a heck of a lot faster. It's gonna be the kind of thing you get for a kid or if like, let's say you have someone visiting a child, visiting you, you'd buy this. Uh, these in a four pack, they're so light, they weigh 0 0.06 ounces a piece, according to that down there. Uh, so with the packaging, I'm guessing maybe a half ounce. All together, they're still gonna ship for the cheapest first class mail rate. And then I'm doing these together because even though I could just do both, uh, you know, back teeth placards and both gentle slide placards, uh, I didn't see any listings like this. Uh, and when you're the only listing on a high demand product like flossers, like this placards, then you're gonna have an easier time selling a unique bundle. And I might even go to, uh, well, I'm gonna stick at 11.95. I could potentially go higher, but at 11.95, you're paying about 10 cents per placard. And I think that's a fair price. Okay, so we've gone to the Dollar Tree. We found products people want. We've talked about how to sell them, how to ship them. Now, what's the next step? Certainly, you don't want to be stuck going to the Dollar Tree every single day. Maybe you want to expand beyond this. Well, a middle step is DollarTree.com, but we can go even beyond that. Now, where does Dollar Tree or Dollar General or Walmart or your local dentist, where do they get all of these toothbrushes? They don't go to the toothbrush orchard and pick them off the toothbrush trees. They buy them from a wholesaler or a manufacturer. We're gonna find the manufacturer. Before you get started doing this, you're gonna say, do I have to have a business? Am I, can I do this as an individual? Is the government gonna come to my house and arrest me and throw me in the gulags for throwing, <laughs> for selling toothbrushes on the black market? No, probably not. But to make this easier on yourself, I'd recommend getting an LLC and a sales tax number, your state's gonna have a different name for it, but basically it's not paying sales tax and then paying the government sales tax if you sell to retailers. You can get your LLC on LegalZoom for like 200 bucks, maybe less, and getting your sales tax number, depending on your state, it's gonna be like an afternoon to a couple days. For me in Michigan, it took me an afternoon to do both of these things, and I spent like, yeah, 200 bucks. Uh, do you need these? Not to start, but it's gonna make doing business 
with large companies a whole lot easier. How do you find toothbrush manufacturers? You can't just walk down the street like you can go into a 7-Eleven or a gas station and find not Block Brothers Toothbrush Incorporated. It's a bit trickier, but luckily we have the internet and you can just Google it. If you want to go really super uber cheap, you can go to Alibaba.com or DHgate and use their search engines. But just Googling toothbrush manufacturer, USA is going to make your job a whole lot easier. I said made in USA. You don't have to. I said I want that because number one, easier logistics. If you're only shipping from 500 miles away domestically, you can get it in a day. Whereas if you're buying from Beijing or Taiwan or wherever, it could be months, maybe even years with the current logistical climate we have. Uh, whereas buying domestically or Canada or Mexico where it can just be put on a semi truck or a train and then a truck and given to you a whole lot easier. It also, in my opinion, makes your product stand out. If someone is looking at two toothbrushes and one's made in USA and one's not, I think more often than not, they're going to be, they're going to lean towards the Made in USA product. They might hate America, I don't know, but I think generally that's how buyers think. So now that we've talked about expanding beyond retail arbitrage, what you're going to do, the basic setup, I'm going to give you guys a head start. I googled this and I found a company that I think would be great to work with. They're in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. That's E-A-U, <laughs> not U uh, O, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. It's called Tess Oral Health Company, or just Tess Oral Health. Uh, and they manufacture and distribute a whole bunch of toothbrushes, both imported and made domestically. And their wholesale prices go as low as 48 cents a toothbrush. That's half. The Dollar Tree cost. Now, of course, there's the cost of packaging, the cost of delivery, the cost of making proofs, a lot of whole, a lot of other stuff that you can attach onto that price. But just looking at those numbers, it's very easy to understand how Dollar Tree, how Walmart, how a gas station, how you can make some money by going to test oral health saying, you know what, I like these, let's change the injection molding, let's use bamboo grown in wherever they grow bamboo in America, I'm sure it happens somewhere, and let's make our own Blake branded, for my, in me in my case, toothbrush. Now your minimum order quantities are gonna be kinda high, but not nearly as high as if you're buying a pallet of toothbrushes from China. Generally in my experience, private labeling, wholesaling, any of that fun stuff, when you can find a domestic producer, not only are you supporting your country's economy, you are also making it a whole lot easier on your end because there's no import duties. There's no dealing with, oh, it's Chinese New Year. Sorry, it's going to be nine months. There's no, oh, no, the Suez Canal has a giant beaver dam across it. You're screwed. You just can go over to Eau Claire, pick your stuff up, and drive home this is just one way that a profitable dollar store flip can turn from a fun side hustle to potentially a full-time income look around you when you go to a walmart maybe that's a bad example when you go walk down your street how many people routinely brush their teeth a lot of them products like this might not be as sexy as drop shipping your own scammy t-shirts but it's reliable it's something you can plan around and I think it can make you a whole lot of money if you do it right if you commit to it thanks for watching I'm Blake please subscribe if you like this kind of stuff give it a thumbs up and let me know below in the comments what you thought of this video